Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 7 Episode 6 has finally dropped on Disney+. Plus. After exploring the story of the Bad Batch Clone Squad 99 in the last arc, this episode continues the Ahsoka alone arc taking us through Ahsoka's life after fleeing the Jedi Order. So before we dive straight into every detail of the episode, remember to smash the subscribe button and hit the like button while you're there. Also remember to leave a comment down below telling me if you notice any connections to the Solo A Star Wars Story movie. The episode begins with Ahsoka and Trace working on repairing her Nebula class Star Freighter. Right off the bat, Trace notices that Ahsoka's skill and general knowledge is much greater than anyone else that she had ever seen before on the lower levels of Coruscant. Trace asks Ahsoka where she learnt these incredible skills, to which Ahsoka replies telling her that she attended the best of the academies on the surface. This arouses Trace's suspicions leading her to ask Ahsoka for the name of the academy. At this point, Ahsoka lets her guard slip telling Trace that the name of the Academy is Skywalker Academy. The Academy that she is talking about is of course the Jedi Academy under the apprenticeship of Anakin Skywalker. Trace clearly has no knowledge of the Clone Wars hero Anakin Skywalker and doesn't even bat an eye at the name. She goes on to tell Ahsoka that she never went to an Academy because there are no Academies on the lower levels of Coruscant. After this conversation, Trace reveals that her sister won the hangar that they operate out of from underground gambling. She tells Ahsoka that Rafa uses the hangar as a front for her less than legal schemes. Following that, Trace begs Ahsoka to stay with her crew after Ahsoka has some doubts about her new life in the underworld of Coruscant. Rafa then interrupts asking Ahsoka if she has any useful skills that will assist in their operations. She also reveals that she had paid for a ship and crew to undertake an upcoming mission for her, angering Trace, who had hoped to be the pilot for any future missions that her sister would take on. Rafa further questions Ahsoka, suspecting her of only joining the crew for personal gain. She reluctantly accepts Ahsoka into the mission, warning her that she still needs to build their relationship and trust. Next, their ship, the Silver Angel, takes off, accidentally entering a military restricted zone before being hailed by a Republic cruiser. The Republic cruiser reprimands Trace, demanding that she hand over her star pilot's license immediately. Ahsoka advises Trace to cease communications with the Republic ship immediately and continue flying away from their location. After this, we get a huge reveal. Anakin Skywalker, former master of Ahsoka, is aboard the Republic cruiser. He demands to know who is on board the ship after sensing a strong connection to something within the ship. The connection is of course that of his former Padawan, Ahsoka Tano. This moment is very touching and further adds emotion to the disconnection between Ahsoka and Anakin. The crew then jumps into hyperspace with Trace clearly displaying her inexperience in flying with the ship. As the ship is about to exit hyperspace, Rafa reveals that they are travelling towards the Spice and Coaxium mines of Kessel. I absolutely love this location in the Solo movie, so it's incredible to see it animated with the updated animations of Season 7 of The Clone Wars. Ahsoka then becomes extremely concerned with the true intentions of the mission, questioning whether or not Rafa knows what she has truly gotten herself into. When the ship arrives on Kessel, it lands on the opposite hemisphere of the planet to the Spice and Coaxium mines. The planet Kessel is actually perfectly divided into two, with one half dedicated to mining and manufacturing, with the other side dedicated to agriculture and the growth of spice. When they touch down on the planet, they are greeted by a Twi'lek who is wearing similar garments to the one that we saw in the last episode. As the group sit down for a banquet hosted by the king, he confirms that their mission will involve delivering spice. Ahsoka notes that there are many purposes for spice and that not all of them are good. Make sure you let me know down in the comments below if you want a full explanation of spice within the Star Wars universe and everything it could be used for, including the more nefarious uses. <laughs> she also warns Rafa that any ship leaving Kessel is likely to be attacked by pirates looking to steal the spice aboard their ship. Ahsoka is very worried about the safety of the ship on such a dangerous mission, attempting to warn the two sisters about the risks, but to no avail. Following this, we get a flyover of the mining hemisphere of the planet, which again is another awesome callback to Solo. We also get a deeper look into the slavery going on in the mines of Kessel, again further backering up the horrors that we saw in the Solo movie. The group then successfully load their ship with the spice and set a course for the homeworld of the Pikes, Obadiah. Ahsoka again shocks Rafa with her extensive knowledge of the Pike crime family, warning her that you cannot trade with the Pikes without incurring a hidden cost. And of course we saw that throughout the Clone Wars series and her time as a Jedi. Ahsoka reiterates how cruel the Pikes can be, again warning Trace that her ship will be stolen and turned into scrap metal should the deal go wrong. The worried Trace panics, dumping all of the spice into space, never to be seen again. This shocking decision puts the whole crew in jeopardy 
as they will no longer be able to pay their debt to the Pikes, and have also failed to hold up their end of the deal with the Twi'lex on Kessel. Ahsoka devises a plan to escape the grip of the Pike Syndicate, but refuses to share her plan with the others. The Pikes then greet the crew on Obadiah, expecting their shipment of spice. The Pike leader reminds Rafa that it would be very unfortunate should she have any trouble delivering her end of the deal. He then demands to see the shipment of spice, leaving the group in a dead end position. Ahsoka surprisingly pulls out a Jedi mind trick, tricking the Pike leader into handing over the payment and letting them go without having delivered the spice. The episode concludes with the crew's ship being held by a pike tractor beam. The plan has failed and Ruffa's trust in Ahsoka is once again shaken. Next episode I do think we'll see an escape, probably forcing Ahsoka to reveal more of her Jedi powers and abilities to Trace and Rafa. I also think there's a strong possibility that we see more of Anakin in the next episode, possibly coming to rescue the group and have a small moment of reconnection with Ahsoka. That would be amazing to see and I really hope Dave Filoni has done that for the next few episodes. Overall, a much better episode than last, the pacing and the story have really picked up and will only continue to improve as the arc comes to its conclusion. If you enjoyed the video, remember to smash the subscribe button for a new Clone Wars Season 7 recap and explainer video every time an episode releases. Thanks again for watching, cheers guys.